Well, hello, single color build challenge. We haven't seen you around here for a while. That's because we ran out of colors to do, but I was just moving my dark turquoise bricks from their little container into a drawer because there's finally enough to put them into one of my sorting drawers. But is there enough to do a build challenge out of just dark turquoise bricks? Oh, that shouldn't be in here. We're going to need that helmet. I think we're going to need every single brick that I can find in this color because this is only really used as an accent color. <laughs> in Lego and I also I love using it as an accent color too so I, I use it in all my mocks like my own builds so oh, this is all, kind of all I have left that's mm. so this will be fun yay challenge right but uh, we need some accessories because that's what actually makes it interesting and even in my accessory containers there's no turquoise in here like nothing I love the fact these are see-through and I can actually see uh is there anything oh yeah we got one one thing one thing people we have got a boom box in dark turquoise right we can work with this <laughs> can we though <laughs> okay let's have a look at what we have in mini doll parts because really that's this is where we start this is how I actually get an idea for a functional build so we've got some aerials that have got turquoise we've got Regana her hair actually has a turquoise blend on the back and her tops turquoise little Mirabelle's the turquoise I'm saying turquoise too much but it is a too much build challenge turquoise it's Elsa's coronation dress in turquoise this is uh Amelia from the Lego friends line this new character Freya is all wearing like turquoise on the top and the bottom we got some oh, we got a little baby we got some micro dolls so we do definitely have some ideas for characters but we also have some really good body part choices too uh, especially in a uh, like Andrea's skin tone there's lots and lots of turquoise pieces in what's her skin tone color called I think it's medium nougat yeah yeah yeah, yeah that, that is it so we've got heaps and heaps like diversity fantastic we're actually nice and strong <laughs> in this medium nougat skin tone here in this color and that we don't then have many other skin tones to mix, mix and match Freya is the only one in this color yet so we're not gonna be able to mix and match her okay this is going to be yeah all right but let's have a look we are actually pretty spoiled for parts here in yeah in mini doll parts in this dark turquoise color got a few leg pieces so many torsos though hmm. okay I'm getting so excited now but I still I don't even know where to start so lots of choices here and oh, hair pieces there are less hair pieces to choose from than we would normally have actually that's not true when you get into colored hair pieces unless it's normal like conventionally normal hair piece colors that we tend to not have too many choices so let's have a look we could put we could put this on Freya and she could be like a disco girl oh there's actually enough boy parts here to do because there's headphones boy hair too which is in nougat oh, not nougat in turquoise oh my gosh my brain's all gone so let's just find a face which has got some dark green eyes because that's gonna kind of work for turquoise look we could have them they could be a couple like the the beatbox couple and I want to use the fairy wings though and I have a cape <laughs> I just want to use all the things Oh my gosh, right. But you know, they could be themed with the boombox and then I could build a build around that, but I just don't know what I would build. But we do have some really cute animals, which is great. Thanks to the cubes, we have like animals of unlikely colors. So lots and lots of animal choices here, including Hey Hey, he's got some turquoise on him, chameleons, tiger, little pug, the sloth, a kitten. I reckon we could give the pug maybe to these guys and they could be... I just don't know. I'm not feeling it yet, but I do like the fact we've got a little family here. I could put this outfit with this pharaoh's or like Egyptian headdress. That looks amazing. Oh, I don't even have a stick piece to make her a staff or anything like that in turquoise. I don't know where to go with like I need an asp, a snake in turquoise. Don't have one. Or I could take Elsa's coronation gown and I could use the cape on Elsa. <laughs> and I could use Anna's face because her eyes are turquoise <laughs> and maybe if we're being like a little bit insane we could use I just love these cat ears this cat ear headdress I don't think it goes though we could just put a m kind of normal hair piece on and we could have this mix of Anna and Elsa this fan fiction idea maybe or I don't know do we do an Egyptian build do we do an Anna Elsa alternate universe kind of build but I really want to use this hairpiece I want to use the fairy wings <laughs> I just want to use all the things maybe we could use so we have a mermaid tail in turquoise thanks to the latest aerial set and oh like a 
Oh, dogfish? No, a catfish. Oh, this is, we are here. So we've got a cat top with turquoise on it. Can use this face because I love it. It's got, she's got turquoise eyes. <laughs> she looks so worried. You should look worried because we're going to use the cat hair. So we have created a catfish. We're going to do a catfish build because we can give like a whole catfish family. We can have the kid, like the kitten <laughs> and turquoise and the mini Ariel has got a little turquoise tail. So we can give her the the cat hair too. Ta-da! I present the catfish family. This is what we are building today, but I still want to use the fairy wings. And I want to use this headdress. I think, mmm, I, let's start here. Let's start with the catfish family and see if I can do something cohesive, like a little scene, because I have barely any bricks. I really don't have a lot of bricks. And base plate, like plate kind of things to put it on, also quite limited. We have, these are kind of the biggest ones that I have, and then they start getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So we could actually just put them on a display like this. I could make like a mini display thing. That makes me think I want to use one of the other characters. Maybe we can, this, maybe this is going to be a series, a series of too much turquoise bells with all the different characters I can make. <laughs> but we do have, we do have uh, coral pieces in turquoise. Thank you. So this is going to be perfect for an under the water build. And I'll just kind of layer these on. This can be the feature part. We can put this on here and then I can put that centralized at the back of the build maybe. Oh, and we've got nice big curved wall pieces from the trolls set and we're not going to see that sticker because that's going to be on the back so if they frame the coral and then the coral's going to be like negative space because we have just one tone of dark turquoise that's it we are using one shade so we're going to need like see-through bits so that's going to be in the negative space going to make a frame for the front of it so build that up a bit like like turquoise rocks <laughs> under the sea so if we build that up a bit and make some angles That'll look a bit more interesting. And then I can make a window framey kind of thing for the coral. <gasps> I could make it, if we cover like that, maybe I could make it look like a teardrop, teardrop shape. Will that work? And I put this tubey column thing, which has a sticky outfit, which I can attach stuff to, which is good because there are no sticks in turquoise. There are no claws in turquoise. There are like one tiny weeny clip, like there's little clips in turquoise, but that's it. Like small clips, there's barely, there are, barely any forward facing studs. We are limited in the shapes that we get in this color, but it made a really nice turquoise frame here. So I'm just going to see if I can finish it off and make the frame for the backdrop here look nice. So we're just going to be creating a little tiny vignette, I think, for this, for this catfish family <laughs> to live under the sea in their turquoise realm. And I can smooth this over here. I reckon there you go. It's a full frame and then we do have a bedspread piece which is perfect for this it's got shells on it and everything so that stick is nice but I want to extend this out a bit and I'm just going to leave it floating till I decide what I want to do with the bed and what I want to do further out here so these pieces from the dots are they've got little stars and swirls and dots they can be like eddies and tide pools in the water and I don't care what I have to call them to make them end up in here like a starfish because they're just going to add some color <laughs> to an otherwise single color build like some definition so I reckon I could make a couple of these and just plant them around on the ground and it'll look really cute well it's not really ground like on the seafloor on the catfish floor <laughs> uh, so where are we going to put them and what are we going to utilize them for like we can make a seat out of one maybe we could sit this one up at the back how far back can I get that I don't know I reckon I'm gonna I might try and build this up a little bit so we've got a bit more dimension so I'm just gonna like just gonna sit it here for now and then we will decide where it goes as we go on yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. It's, it's going to have to go higher than that. So we'll find out what we're going to do. So I've got all these nice curved tile pieces and we're going to use them as a... Well, I'll show you. <laughs> we've got curved pieces here and I want to use the curved tile pieces to make like a tiley staircase to go up towards the bed. But it also looks like waves, kind of, because I have lots and lots of those nice tile smooth pieces, these ones. So now we've got some different levels. We can start layering them up. I just have to make sure there's enough bricks under them to for the foundation. We are using a minimal amount of bricks here because I do not have many. Oh, we could curve that around to the other side. Take that all the way over here. And then, then we could make this, yeah, no, no, move the uh, circle bit over and that'll hold these together. And that can then be a little tide pool. See, how cute will that be? Ah, so that's the idea, but we'll keep working over here. 
and this one can go up and we can put another curved tile here. So it does, it looks like little wavy steps that can sit up nice and high now. And then we'll just make the bed, yeah, quite a bit of a feature in the middle. <laughs> and it's curved too, everything's curved because there are plenty of nice turquoise yeah, curved bricks. We'll fill that out here. Gosh, I used quite a few of my valuable bricks just to hold the bed up. Okay, that's really cute. I love the little the little tide pools there. They're so nice. Now, got another couple of pieces of coral, so I reckon I can stick this one on this pokey out bit there. That looks great. And then maybe maybe I could put another one over on this side. No, let's make another little tide pooly kind of bit over here. An extension of the tide pool. I just like saying tide pool. Little eddies. I just love that too. That's really cute. They can be like little starfish. We'll put another one there. That looks really pretty. <laughs> it breaks up all that really stark turquoise. And I have two of these, uh, these shell pieces, like flags, and they can sit on either side. And I've got a couple, like, well, not many of these angle bracket pieces with the forward-facing studs. That's the, <laughs> there's so few forward-facing studs uh, pieces in, in the dark turquoise. So we got one on one side. We'll do the same thing for the other side. So it's just a bit symmetrical. It's gonna be the cutest little vignette. Look at that, it's already, I mean, we're pretty much done. So, but we do have a bit of space on either side. So I think we can put a pyramid here with a, yeah, coral growing up in front, obscuring that sh that shield bit a bit, but that's fine. Some fish here, which are technically turquoise, printed on a, yeah, printed on a sticker, so that's good. And over here, I can put a big starfish as a seat kind of thing. Look at that, that's so cute. I don't think we have room for anything else. So let's just see whether we can actually fit our catfish family into a little underwater vignette. So we can put the worried older sibling here on the bed. The cat can, the kitten can sit on here, I think. I mean, she's probably looking really worriedly at the kitten because, you know, it's under the water. It's not going to end well. It's been genetically modified, I'm sure. Now, and this little, uh, the little extremely happy younger sister, we can use the see-through bit to angle her and just make it look a bit more interesting than having her sitting directly on the star. <laughs> so she's perpetually annoying her older sister, maybe, while her older sister just worries about the cat and the, what life is she living here in her catfish family under the sea. Ah, and we can actually stand her up at the front. Look at that! I didn't even think about that when I was making it, but it's nice that there is room for her to stand up. So, look, it's a plan that I did not plan to come to plan, but we've used up all the coral pieces and quite a large component of my teal pieces, but this is not going to stop me because I want to make this... I want to try a Too Much Turquoise series because I've got so many characters in mind that I want to build for. I just don't have enough bricks. So, which would you like to see next? Do you want to see our boombox couple? Or maybe the fan fiction Elsa Anna squished in together. I don't even know how I can do this. I have so few turquoise bricks, but tell me. I love a challenge. So, <laughs> I have these turquoise bricks. This is all that I have left over. Actually, that's lies. I do have a few more of <laughs> these. But last week we actually did a too much turquoise build. Turned out quite well considering the fact that I have really not many of these of bricks in this colour and there aren't many, like there's not much diversity in these parts. However, you know what? What we're going to do is we're going to extend this build challenge and do another build challenge in turquoise. And you guys voted for the boombox couple that we put together last week. So we've got... I haven't even got names for these dudes yet, but your ideas were to give them the turquoise baby and the Mirabelle like micro dolls as twins. So that's what I'm going to do because I thought that was amazing. <laughs> we could have all these kids and yeah, but we're not doing that this week. I'm going to take them away. I can hear the cries of outrage from here, <laughs> but it didn't come together in time for this week. But what did come together is actually the other mini doll I, like this idea actually was really easy to put a build together like easy comparatively I just I promise I will do the boom box couple but today we're gonna do like a frozen alternate universe <laughs> because we've got Elsa's coronation dress and Anna's face so those two characters smash together to make one character like a soul daughter what would her name be? I don't know. El Elsana. Let's go with that. <laughs> and because we have actually got chameleons in turquoise, we get two brunies. So we get a bruni and brunina. Oh, this is so cute. It's like my frozen fan fiction. It's not going to make sense because it's an alternate universe, peeps. That's, that's how it's going to be rolling. So, okay. So she is the sole daughter of Arendelle, which means... Yeah, so she's she's the oh, she's the undisputed queen of Arendelle. So we need to make her a little vignette 
with, I don't know, maybe a throne room? Might be able to do that. I have so, I just, yeah, I'm trying to make, <laughs> trying to make a platform here, but I only have a four by one. I have one four by one turquoise piece, like plate. That's it. Like they only exist in like two sets. There's only, yeah, limited numbers of this, of this stuff. However, I do have of this color. However, I do have a whole heap of four by one bricks because I got them on the pick a brick wall at some stage. So I filled up a cup of those. So I have lots of turquoise four by one bricks. So I'm making a platformy kind of thing just to build this up. And it's also going to help hold all these plates together. It's just going to be a bit different from having our little flat floor thing happening. Gonna use these four by one tiles to hold this together precariously, but it'll do for the now. Right, so I have got a whole heap of window pieces in turquoise. I don't even know where these came from. They must have come out of a Disney princess set or multiple Disney princess sets, but they've all got the gold lattice work in them and I'm going to leave that in there just to break up all of this turquoise-ness. Plus it also, it adds to the, it, it works with this kind of style, with this theme this Disney princess medieval-ish kind of style. So I want to break this up even more because I do have these 4x1 bricks with printing on them. They're not, that they have turquoise on them. And this is a colour that also, this also came out of, I think, a Frozen set, like an Arendelle Castle set. So it's so perfect. And to break up the lattice work, the gold lattice work, I'm just going to stick some 1x1 turquoise plates, plates? Yeah, they're the right words, uh, just into the lattice work just to make it, I don't know, just a little bit more interesting. <laughs> so there we go. Plus the fact that you can actually stick them into the lattice work is kind of cool. So let's do this with the other side because we're going to match this on either side. The same thing with two sets of windows and our same pattern brick because I have just two of them, just two. And in the middle, there's this fantastic pennant flag thing that came out of once again, one of the... I think it was the Enchanted Forest, the Magical Forest set. Once again, Frozen set. So it works perfectly. It's just, I mean, this is just, I told you this was just meant to come together. We only have clips in this size and shape. <laughs> in turquoise. So I need to have some forward facing studs and this is all I have, this little bracket piece. Uh, that's it. So it's going to stick out a bit, but that works okay for a flag pennanty droppy down kind of thing. Put a curved bit over the top, that bit's done. Now, I also want this because it just goes really well with a castle theme idea and I'm just trying to use as many interesting shapes as I can so it's not a blocky bricky, well it is bricks, <laughs> but it's uh, you know not a blocky build. <laughs> Make it castly. Keep it with the theme. Okay, so right, that's up. That's pretty good. I mean, we don't have a lot of space here to build on, but I reckon I don't know that I can do a throne, but I reckon I can do a bed. So if I use these as uprights, I could make a four poster kind of bed, maybe. So this is actually this bed design came directly out of I think the second Arendelle castle but I've just taken the pieces out that weren't turquoise and substituted them for turquoise pieces so this will be a completely turquoise build and it's also once again a bed that came from a frozen set so it's just it really just came together really well so this bit I need to pop in there so I'm gonna use that to lift that up and then as a pillow nice big curved piece and a couple of one by one plates to lift those columns up because well, we'll find out in a moment, but I want to put these little little half round bits on the top because they just finished up and make it look really, really nice. Now, it's a really plain looking bed. It's not very ornamental and I would have loved some of those scroll pieces or something interesting to make it just look more ornamental. But I'm going to try to use these corner bracket pieces. Are they called bracket pieces? Can't remember. Uh, but these corner pieces and they're just going to lift the bed up and give it a bit more... I don't know, interest. It's going to be interesting like this. However, I don't know how I'm going to attach these to the base plate because they just stick it out by not a full half a half a stud. They, I don't know. Let's put these in. There's a lot of I don't knows going on here. Going to put jumper studs in and a smooth, a smooth kind of flooring bit for it to sit on, a little rectangle. And then if I pop these, pop, if I put these on, and they're kind of hanging weirdly. I mean, Lego would never do this sort of connection because it's just so dubious, but I wanted to make it interesting. And that'll kind of do, like, I know it's kind of floating in the middle, but I want to just, yeah, just add another couple of bits in here just to, yeah, just so we don't see the studs so much. If I tuck it under the, under that V arch at the top, those column pieces, it holds it in place. Like it's not very stable, but it's stable enough and it holds it centered in my little bracket bit. 
<laughs> what do you think? It's interesting. Okay, so this mat, perfect, nice, fits in so beautifully and has turquoise on it. Like the style's so good. I want another wall and I've got a perfect panel piece for that, which came out of one of the cupboards. So it's an open cupboard with all of Elsa's gowns in it, which thankfully we've got some turquoise in there, turquoise gift boxes at the top so I can use this sticker legitimately, even though it's a massive big white wall piece, but ha. Huh. It's got turquoise on it so I can use it. Doesn't that just look good? She's got an open, open wardrobe on one side and I'm going to use these little upright angled pieces just to make it less, it's just going to be more interesting than if I put it straight up. That kept that wall going straight up. Now I need, I'm just trying to think how I'm going to connect all of this. Maybe just put some smooth bits along just to finish off the top of this wall and then if I put one on there, yeah that's good. Maybe I should, oh, hold on, I've got those, that plate at the back there. Should I be, let me just try something, put this on, uh, no, 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 I don't know what I was thinking. No, no, <laughs> no, let's, because you can't see what's happening at the back, so I'm going to ignore that because I just don't have enough pieces. So there we go, from the front, looks schmicker, fantastic. Oh, look, I'm just so excited. Okay, so we have managed to make a royal bedroom for Elsana, the queen of Arendelle in this alternate universe. <laughs> And with her horde of chameleons, I mean, is, is two enough to be a horde? Her minions, her <laughs> chameleon minions, my gosh, she's falling off. Okay, this, see I told you, this worked out really well, but I have made a promise to do the boombox couple, so I will do that. But look at this, two, two, hold on, two, too much turquoise builds so far, and I have plans to do at least one more. Here we are again with another Too Much Turquoise build. We have already done the turquoise catfish and the weird mashup between Elsa and Anna like in an alternate universe fan fiction frozen weirdness. But I promised that we were going to make the turquoise boombox family with their little twin Mirabelles and their weird looking baby with the yellow face and the <laughs> Simpsons baby is one of you said in the comments. But you know what? I don't think so. Not today. So bye bye boombox family. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, I can hear your screams of outrage. Once again, heads exploding. Poof. But I promise we will do them. But these just called to me. <laughs> I'm just going, I think I'm just going nuts. These gorgeous big curved panel pieces are from uh, Raya and the Heart Palace. And I was just, I was looking and I just wanted to do a build with them. So you know what, we're going to make, even if it's dodgy, we're going to figure out some way to use these beautiful pieces in something that actually matches their style. And to do that, we're going to need Jasmine, right? Because they're kind of very Jasmine-esque. Jasmine is not turquoise at all, so we can't use her, but we're going to use the idea of Jasmine. We're going to incorporate her with Noctura, who my hair, my mouth keeps trying to say Regana. My brain knows that it's Noctura, but my mouth just goes and does what it wants. So if I get this wrong, this, it's mouth's fault. But if we merge the two characters and utilize a genie tail piece that I made out of a mermaid tail piece for one of my Halloween videos, then we can make like a smush up between Jasmine and Jeannie. Like she looks evil, but so she's going to be an evil Jasmine Jeannie. Oh, the hair piece, by the way, is one that I, I painted for, I think for her modern day apartment, my build of that. And there's also, she could have Raja, but like Raja in turquoise. See, it's totally like a Jasmine Jeannie mashup. And thanks to Gabe's 3D world, she has a name, Jasmine. It's awful, but it's so perfect. Jasmine. <laughs> right, so let's decide what, how we, like she's going to be in a lamp, like in a genie lamp. That's what the big curved surface is going to be. But we have to figure out, or do I want them to be? I don't know. We're going to just start. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to get in there and do it. So I've got so limited, like, plate pieces at the moment. <laughs> let's just muck about this stuff. So if I'm going to use the curved pieces as most of the wall, we'll use these as the back area and these swirly pieces are so perfect because they're like magical smoke inside the genie lamp <laughs> imagine living with that all the time oh my gosh there's smoke in here all the time and these can make because i'm just i have i just want some curved curved pieces i think it will look really nice and then we can have some straight ones on either side I, those sticks are just gonna be sticking out to the back no one's gonna see them the back on this build is absolutely not gonna be looked at and if we put this so we'll be looking let's just let's decide to be looking at this we're looking inside the lamp. So if I put this hook on here, I should be able to kind of curve this around the back wall kind of thing that I've made. 
just trying to figure out how I do this. So if I put it here, maybe I need to move it forward a little bit. No, let's, oh, there we go. Let's put it on first and then, look at that. So how come that works so well and was the same as it was before anyway? So we've got our curved surfaces in. So we've got this nice big genie lamp and we can tilt them up towards the top. So now let's take some of that, that blank space and fill it with bricks and kind of curve those bits over there. Nice, so that's our back wall. It all comes to a nice point. We're gonna put this on as, as a lid. It's not gonna attach at all because I don't have any way to hook it on. But if I put these bits on the top, no one's gonna notice it. It's just free floating there. Ta-da, kind of a bit askew, but we're just gonna fiddle with it. And it is absolutely as flimsy as all heck, but you know what? <laughs> I don't care, this is just for fun. Now I'm gonna try lifting it up and making more room in here because at the moment it's like, it definitely is a teeny tiny living space. So if I lift it up and add some more plates under the bottom just so it's like a little step down and to step down we can make some steps by attaching them to the wall with this once again curved surface with a flat bit at the top and then we can build out the next one yeah we'll need to build this one out with a four by one brick no I see so a couple of steps to go down we'll put them off to the side rather than centralized and that'll give us a bit of room on the side to put stuff yeah. Okay, so if we put these on, that might be, nope, that's still not high enough. Another plate higher. And now that's high enough to actually put the steps on. Then we're going to backfill these. But actually, I've got another one of these, these swirls, the smoke inside, the genie smoke. So we'll put some more of that over here. <laughs> I feel sorry for Jasmine. <laughs> She's just in the, in the lamp, just filled with magical smoke all the time. And this beautiful rounded tile can make the bottom of the stairs. There. Everything's just kind of soft edges. That's the smoke blurring it. <laughs> okay, so now we've got a good height. I have to kind of backfill this so that we can support it at the back and it's not really not optimal to be trying to do this while we've got all these really, really flimsy pieces at the top. Actually, I'm going to put this big bit, this big brick in the middle because I'm just running out of running out of bricks and that's just going to support it. That's going to be enough. We're not going to notice that the back has got these big gaping gaps because we're not going to look at the back. The back is not for looking at. So the front is where we are at. So up here on the first level, we're going to put a little settee like a chaise lounge. And I love this piece that I put a sticker on uh, that was from, from the Sims 4 house and now we've got very stylistically correct chaise lounge, which is lovely. This can be centralized at the top, but I also want to give her some books to read and I'm going to make a stack of them out of turquoise. Turquoise books, very nice. <laughs> She's got to have something to do in here. And this book actually has a nice turquoise sticker on the front. So absolutely perfect. And even like the style of the sticker works well with this theme. It just came together. So let's put these over here in the corner and the book, we could just put it here on the chair. No, let's put a side table in. Once again, a little rounded one. It's a shame I don't have a round top for this, but this is just gonna have to do. I don't have round in that, in this turquoise color. So down on the bottom level, there's actually not a lot of room here. Teeny tiny living space. Let's put these curved bits going down to make it look less abrupt. And the shields and the balls there just give some really nicely stylistic ornamentation. It goes well with this style. And this also does, cause it's like a shiny, carpety kind of thing. So we're going to put that centralized at the front. <laughs> Triple saying centralized. Centralized at the front. And I think we can put it there now. So let's just backfill what we have left here as the front of the build. So more of those shield shapes curving up to it, smoothing along here. And yeah, same thing on the other side. Very nice. Now we have got just this tiniest amount of space down <laughs> next to the stairs. Could be a spot for Raja. Maybe I can make him a bowl because I do. I've got these discs. So I have the turquoise round thing and we can put it. Oh, I can't put it on like that. So we can put it on upside down and there's even a turquoise bone. So, I mean, it was just meant to be. And this isn't going to secure onto the plate down below, but it's going to sit in between the studs. and It's not going to slide off. So look, now we've got a plate for Raja and a really small, <laughs> flimsy as all get out. Oh uh, yeah, lamp for Jasmine. <laughs> this is so dodgy to the touch. Magic holds it together. But I have promised you the boombox family and this will be the final, I <laughs> really hope, too much turquoise build for next week. So you don't want to miss that. I mean, I don't want to hype it up too much, but I'm not going to because <laughs> that would be really silly. It's a really 
I have struggled with this bill. So, Tell me, have we had too many, too much turquoise bills? We've had the catfish family. I suppose there's enough of them to be a family. There, we had Jasmineini. And we also had the Elsana build, which you can't see here now because I've stolen all the pieces for the next build. Is it too many? Should we continue? I mean, seriously, I have so few of these pieces, but you know what? I did promise you the Boombox family. I've been promising this for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and I just keep ripping them away. But today, we're going to put them all together here on the screen. We're going to give this dude a, uh, what do you, I don't even, I can't remember what you call this thing. A keyboard guitar. A guitar, a guitar, that's it. And their little, their little baby. And their twin, twin. <laughs> <laughs> this is just insanity. And they're twin Mirabelles. And oh, don't forget their little turquoise pug too. And then normally at this stage, I would just rip them off the screen and go, psych, we're not doing that today. But we are actually doing the Boombox family today. So your patience has been rewarded. Look at that. But oh, before we do that, I promise this is not a decoy. This was when I noticed that the new mini dolls actually have these creepy ears at the bottom of their feet. <laughs> Looked like little ears to me. So this, this is what actually led to me cutting up legs in my couple of videos ago to see what was happening inside them and also I was curious as to when this started happening because this mini dolls one from the beginning of the year sets from the main street building and olivia this these feet are from the middle of the year so they only started doing this the middle of 2022 which just blows my mind and i want to know why but anyway that's got absolutely nothing to do with this video today so too much turquoise let's start with this this uh oh, what do you call it like a Oh, like the display stand from the video character themes and we've also got a whole heap of the printed video tiles as well that are in turquoise so and they're all about music stuff so i was fiddling around with this and i thought you know what i reckon if i tip it on its side and i turn this one this like hingy bit over like that i could make these bunk beds because we have <laughs> a few too many children now well i mean three but we have to try and fit them all into here so we're going to make bunk beds and beds for the parents too. So this sticker has got a bit of a turquoise fold over so we can use this little sleeping bag for one side and another one matching with the turquoise folder over as well. So there's a bit of turquoise in both of those and they can be for the twin Mirabelles. Look at that. And I think there's gonna be enough room in between to put something for the baby, for the weird old turquoise baby. But I like a tiny kind of cot. And this is all I have with these panel panel pieces and there's no studs to hold this second one in place nice and close so if I put a wedge piece here it should I mean it's not gonna be fixed to the ground <laughs> but the baby's perfectly safe look at that the mirror bells will keep it safe and this will make some nice deco in the corner of the bedroom perfect that's nice look see at the top of the bed <laughs> and they're all it's it's music theme so it's perfect speaking of music theme let's get a pillow on the top here so this is going to be the parents bed up the top of the bunk bed and then these bed spreads which have come from andrea sets absolutely perfect and they've come from two separate andrea sets too but they match look matchy matchy and music themed so not only are we doing a too much turquoise build but we're also making it music themed too much music so Let's figure out how I'm going to attach this to a plate. So this is going to go, I reckon that would go, yeah, ta -da! And that also becomes one wall of this build. So we got the beds done. <laughs> That's, yeah, all right, cool. Hmm. <laughs> so we're, I'm trying to figure out where, what else we're going to do here with my limited ideas. So if I have to build this up a bit anyway, because that's going to be sitting on top of the other plate. So just put a few little plates up to make it come up to the same height. So now we got some flooring area to work with and let's get rid of these other builds because they're just distracting me in the background there. Uh, and this, this uh, monorail stuff. Um, they're not monorails, uh, train tracks. They're not train tracks either. What do you call that stuff? We're gonna use it as a ladder. And to do that, I need some framework. So let's start putting some bricks in here along the back wall. Move that over a bit so that I have something to attach the ladder to next to the bunk bed. So that should possibly be far enough. And oh, if I get, I could put a window up here at the top of the bed and that will <laughs> make a substantial part of the wall, yay. So I just have to build this up here with my fabulous amount of four by one bricks and then my window can go up there and then here, Next to it, I should be able to put a little forward-facing stud uh, angle piece, and that's there. I can put the ladder on. Ah, and, uh, 
maybe another couple of windows here to fill all this space behind it. We're just filling in space. Right, we got a good bit of wall happening now. And under the ladder, I'm going to put a toy box. And in it, we're going to put their toy rooster, aka Hey Hey. So perfect. And a couple of these, these uh, video tiles, matching ones to use as a carpety mat thing on the floor. And then we could put this maybe at the top. I've just got so many video tiles, printed tiles with music stuff on them. So they're going to all go in here. It's going to be so good. <laughs> she says optimistically. I have a very big window piece with some, um, it's got blue glass in it, but it kind of looks tinted with turquoise, right? Yeah, totally. And then <gasps> along the top, if I use another one of these track pieces, I wonder if I can kind of line it with a whole heap of the video tiles. So we're going to give this a shot. So to actually attach them, I don't have any little uh, hooked pieces that have backward facing studs. So I'll put, put them on this, this plate here. And then to actually attach them, there's only two points where we can attach these. So if I have two by one tiles on either end. I need to build that up times two, two times two by one tiles and offset that just a bit and then do the same thing for the other side. And then it'll make the nice big topper of the wall. <laughs> I just love these. These are so good. And even if they're not on turquoise tiles, they got turquoise printing on them and I'm totally home and hosed with that turquoise. So look at that. Too much turquoise. So much turquoise. I'm saying turquoise. So oh, much. Right. So this is going to go along the top wall. How I'm going to attach it is going to be eh, uh, interesting because I need... I need some more of those forward facing studs. I only have the sideways facing ones and they're actually vertical on the back of the track piece, but it's going to be a tentative connection. It's only going to be attached by one of those two studs, but you know what? We'll put one on the other end. It'll be fine. She'll be fine. So let's build up the other side and on this wall, put some forward facing studs too, so that we can put some more decoration on this side of the wall. So it's not just boring, boring turquoise. <laughs> Turquoise, you've broken me. Put another one of these fantastic video tiles on, and then I can put this here, and then I reckon, like that, it's even centered. So now that that's on, we can go back and backfill some of this stuff and just make these end bits secure. And this middle bit, if I just put a yeah, plate across there. That'll hold together. No one's going to see what that looks like. So now that this is in front, the behind it doesn't matter as long as it's nice and stable. And we can have a sloth because we've got a turquoise sloth. So that can be another toy for the kids. Okay. On this forward facing stud bit over here, I want to put uh, a, a, a mosaic-y kind of thing with these turquoise, turquoise cactus printed pieces from the dots theme. So if I do this and put a little army bit up here, it's so cute. It's just going to break because they're printed color pieces. It's going to break it up. And we have a turquoise heart. So I can put that. Oh, I could put that on as is, but I actually think I want to make it bigger because look. So yeah, put that down like that. And I can't, um, I can't hold all these together here, but we'll hold them together on the wall. So if I put that on like this, I actually want it to be inset like inset like that so that it just breaks it up a bit more. So I'm going to add another <laughs> row to this mosaic, this cactus mosaic. It's a random row on the right hand side of it. Another heart bit on the top. And there we go. Look, that all works together quite nicely. And that makes that wall just slightly less blocky turquoise. Right. So for this side, I want to put a lounge in and we're going to use these big curved pieces and move slothy over to make kind of a sunken lounge look, even though it's not sunken. <laughs> so it's going to be a big curved, everyone can fit in here style lounge, not a, you know, not in individualized seats, just big, everyone jumps in. And uh, I want to put a display spot or just a spot in here for the boom box. So I'm going to put another brick over there. And for, uh, for dad boom box, <laughs> I didn't give any of these names. You have to give me some names for these characters. For his Kita, I'm going to make a stand for it too. So this, this uh, ray gun in turquoise will help angle this out. And then we just need a whole heap of the little tubey bits to bring it up. And then that can stand behind. So the whole lounge room is just equipped with music stuff. Very nice. And I want to just, before we fill in the front <laughs> of our couch and I figure out what that does, we'll fill in the edge. And now do I want to move this forwards? I don't, um, oh, you know what I do want to do? I want to use this 
tile sticker piece that came out of the farmhouse. You guys knew when you saw me build it that I was going to use this, right? So this is going to be part of the cushioning for the big couchy area. And then we can have a round tube bit and stick some studs in either end of that for a nice big tubular pillow. And that's just going to float here at the back. <laughs> okay, and definitely going to extend this forward. So quarter pie pieces here, and then I need to fill that space in the middle and then hold all this stuff together. So a two by three here and a one by two in here and hold them together a little roundy, roundy plate. That's not holding together at all, but that's going to be a cushiony bit in the middle, like a foot, a footstool. And then if I use this, so many good pieces with turquoise stickers on them, uh, that's going to be some cushioning on this side. And then over here, a little side table where we can have a board game. Oh, we just got turquoise on it. I don't even know what that board game is. What is that board game? And on this side is another cushion, also came out of the farmhouse. So that can sit over there. Look at all these beautiful sitting spots. I don't think I can fit anything else in here apart from the mini dolls. Look at that. When we sit them down, wow, those little ear feet are just super creepy. Oh, I really don't like it, Lego. Please fix it. Can we just go back to like having a little panel at the bottom of those feet so we're not looking entirely up their legs? That's just wrong. Through their ear. Oh no. Okay, stop it. Stop it, Ellie. We have finished. We actually, while I was obsessing over her feet, is uh we finished this build and it's actually cohesive and yes i did have to steal a lot of the parts from my elsana elsana build but the other two builds stayed entirely intact so out of turquoise i've made four bills <laughs> and three of them are still still together so i i have i have outdone myself i've very, very proud how I've actually done different things to what I would normally do for all of these. Plus, <laughs> built so many things out of such a small amount of one collar brick. But we are done. I'm not doing this again. We are not touching turquoise again. It's that's it. It's all going in the bin. Turquoise in the bin. No lies. I'm going to keep it because it's one of my favorite colors. But there we go. The Boombox family, I promised. And now they have a teeny little turquoise house. I mean, it's not even a house. It's kind of a bit of a house. I never promised a house. <laughs> they got their build. Right, okay. Now is the time to subscribe and click the notification bell if you haven't already done so and come back because I have oh so many plans for so much stuff. So you're going to want to be here. <laughs> right, see you soon. Bye.